Hey guys, it's Chef. So I told you we're gonna make Mongolian beef with ramen. You don't have to use ramen. You can use like spaghetti noodles too and they work just the same. These are in the um, Asian aisle of Food Lion. Um, uh, actually most of the ingredients that you'll need are there. So we have the ramen noodles. We have hoisin sauce, soy sauce, sesame seeds, black pepper, crushed red pepper, garlic, spring onions, brown sugar, broccoli, carrots, and steak. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through this. Some of you guys have not seen how to mince garlic. So I have this nifty little thing now, and so I used it. So, but I'm gonna show you how to do it from the beginning. So glow, uh, a clove of garlic, you're gonna wanna peel it. And the easiest way to do that is to pop your ends because that part's gross anyways. So you're gonna pop your ends and then it'll just cause the shelling to come right off. And so you have a nice clean piece of garlic there. It's kind of hard to use the claw method, so I suggest that you use the cupping method here and you might want to come in this way from it. Yeah. So you're just going to make your fine cuts all the way across and hold pressure and then turn. And now is when you can tuck those fingers in and just dice that across and you'll have the same effect as what my little handy dandy machine did there. Um, and that is six cloves of garlic. I've already cleaned and sanitized everything. My kitchen's a mess because we're painting. So we have a very limited section here. So my beef, I got that up, uh, lower shoulder thin cut steak. It's like $3 a pack. It's super cheap. Um, it's very, very thin sliced steak. So I marinated mine, but you don't have to. Um, and what I marinated mine in was water, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and a tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And just kind of let it sit. So what we're going to do is we've got water on for, to come to a boil for our ramen. I've got a drizzle of oil heated or he, getting ready to heat in this pan. This is the only time you guys get to use Chef Mike. And by Chef Mike, I mean Chef Mike the microwave. Okay, so the easiest way for you guys to steam broccoli at home, unless you have the baskets and everything else to do it, is going to be to get a steam in the bag thing of broccoli. So we're gonna steam this guy and follow the instructions. Like I don't even know how to do this because I don't ever use my microwave. So we're gonna microwave on high for four to five minutes and this side up. So I have a, some leftover chicken in here. Let me remove this guy. So we're gonna put him to the side because we will start him in just a few minutes. My oil is coming to get warm. We're gonna go ahead and throw this garlic straight on in there. While that's getting hot, we are going to cut our spring onions. So you wanna cut these little tips off because obviously they don't taste very good. So you're just gonna cut them and get rid of them. And then peel off any extra skin that's there because yet again, it doesn't taste good. Tuck those fingers in and just slice this right on up. And you're gonna slice all of the white and you can slice mostly up into the green. I'll show you about where to stop. And just bring that in. I didn't grab the greatest knife, but I wanted a small knife. And so you can use until it starts getting into the sections here. And you're still gonna use part of that. And you're gonna save. All right, so that's all gonna go in. And now we're getting into where it's a little more leafy. And we're gonna cut these at a diagonal cut. And let me kind of stack these up a little more. And we're gonna use this as our garnish. All right, so you've got some scallion pieces now. And then you've got your onion pieces. 
We've got our garlic in here. I can already start to smell it. So we're gonna give that a nice little stir. All right. Get that on here. Turn this down a little bit. We're gonna shave some carrots. So you don't have to peel a carrot, just make sure they're washed very well. And you're gonna use a peeler to shave this carrot. So I'm gonna slide my scallions out of the way. And you're just gonna make some really thin, little shaved pieces of carrot. Save some of these for your garnish as well. Just look at my thing. So I'm gonna put some of these over here to save for garnishing purposes. And then you're just gonna go ahead and peel the rest of this guy right on in to make all your shaved carrot pieces. It doesn't take long at all. All right, my garlic is starting to smell amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw in half of this onion. Nice little sizzle. And we're gonna throw in our ground, our, our steak. All right, so that's only gonna take a couple of minutes to cook. So give that a quick stir and shuffle that in there. All right, and I'm gonna turn this guy down some. We're gonna add our ginger. So I'm gonna add about four teaspoons of ginger and I'm just gonna show you kind of what that looks like in here. That's about one. That's about two, three, and four. I'm gonna throw a little extra in because I love the fresh ginger. Um, this is in the uh, produce section up near where the lettuce and everything else is in Food Lime. And they also have the root itself out there where the potatoes and onions and stuff are. And you can grate that with just a regular um, like cheese type grater and it'll do the same thing. So we're just gonna stir all of this in. Get some color on our steak. And I'm gonna kinda just take this and I'm going to push our steak to the outside edges. I'm gonna push our garlic and some more of that ginger to the middle. Now I can actually start to smell that ginger. It smells really nice. I'm going to finish this carrot real fast because it's getting ready to go in. and carry it on the floor. All right. So I'm gonna add, this is my hoisin sauce. This is six tablespoons of hoisin. I'm just gonna scrape that right into here. And then this is half a cup of soy sauce. I'm gonna pour that guy right in there. Half a cup of packed brown sugar. It goes right in. Crushed red pepper flake. This is up to you as to how spicy you want it. I want some heat in there. So I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon in mine. And I'm going to add our carrot into this now as well. My water is getting ready to boil. I can hear it. I'm gonna add some more carrot to this as I go, but time-wise, I'm just trying to get it all started. And so we're gonna let this come in and just mix it all together and let it start blending. And we're gonna let that almost come to a slow boil, which will be a simmer. So I turn up my heat. This is good. We're gonna dump our ramen noodles straight on in. If I can open the box, which is looking like a negative ghost rider at this moment. The struggle is real. All 
All right. So, looks just like your packets. And if you don't have these and you want to have like regular ramen noodles, just don't put the season pack in it. I've also done this with spaghetti noodles. So, the options are kind of endless here. And you can use rice if you wanted to put it over rice instead. to bubble which is wonderful I'm getting some bubbles in there it's really making it smell quite nice now we're gonna let this come up a little more I'm gonna cover these and I'm gonna take a couple minutes I'm gonna shave some more carrot and what I'm gonna do is I'm not actually gonna add this in until it's just about done because one, I want it to keep its color, but two, I also want it to keep its crisp. So at this point, it's a little harder to hold on to. So you can let the cutting board be your friend and just kind of let it hold it. Or if you want to continue to hold it this way, you can. Just watch your fingers. I can't tell you. I have cut myself more with a potato peeler or a veggie peeler than I have ever with a knife. So they will take your little fingers right on off. In fact, most of the time when it gets to this point, I'm like, I'm just gonna eat that instead of peeling it all the way or I'll save it for my veggie stock. Just breathe. So I'm actually going to wash another carrot and Grab some more pieces here and just shave that guy right on in. All right, let's give this guy a stir because I hear it bubbling. Looking good, looking good. I'm gonna make sure I'm scraping the sides of my pan here. Now, at this point, you can choose to add a little cornstarch to it to thicken it, or you can actually just let it cook down and it will thicken on its own. So I'm just gonna put just a small sprinkle of cornstarch in there, hardly any at all. And I'm just gonna kinda stir that right on in there. So I'm gonna turn this guy down. At this point, I'm gonna add the rest of my onions and throw them in. And Chef Mike gets his debut. If you want to toast your sesame seeds, you can. It will give it more flavor. By that, all you're going to do is just get a hot pan on the stove, hit it with some cooking spray, and just shuffle it around. Don't burn them. It'll take like 30 seconds to toast them, but they taste fine without it. Um, so that's up to you. All right, so my sauce is starting to thicken a little bit now. It smells really good. We'll check our ramen. It's getting really close to being done. I'm just gonna hit it with some tongs to start separating it. much longer. Alright, so we're going to let this simmer down until this is done. And what's going to happen then is I'm actually going to take this broccoli and I'm going to dump it straight in so it gets covered in the sauce. 
and that will also get rid of some of this liquid as well and make that sauce thicker. So I'm excited to hear what you guys think of this one because my house smells amazing right now. That'll be done in a few minutes. Um, and then pretty much this meal is done. This is a 15, 20 minute meal tops. So weeknights, busy nights, it's really great to go to. I'm gonna grab a bowl to be able to plate it. You guys know how I feel when I go any kind of Asian inspired theme. I have to pull out my blue willow china because it makes me feel better. kids running around outside. Chef Mike has almost finished his process here. Ramen's looking good. House smells good. I would stop the video and start it back when we got to that point, but it's so close in time that I'm not going to. Um, just want to kind of keep stirring this. And you can go ahead and taste it. If you think it needs more spice if you think it needs less spice then you're going to add some brown sugar to it if you want to add more veggies you can add bamboo shoots you can add water chestnuts you can add baby corn you can add any of those things to it uh, to flavor it up some more or to make it expand i'm going to check this and see be careful because this is going to be hot um, let me grab my kitchen shears. I'm going to open it, open it away from you because of the steam. Because the steam will burn you faster than anything else will. I'm going to throw my broccoli straight on in. And we're just going to start to stir and fold so the broccoli starts to take on that sauce. And we're gonna let that cook for a couple of minutes to get the broccoli all sauced up and soaking in and to let that sauce thicken around it a little more as well. All right, so our ramen is done here. Cut this off. And you can strain it off, but I'm actually going to save my pasta water for something else. So that's the only reason that I am not. All right. So we've got our ramen. All right. Our broccoli is starting to take some color from the sauce. And I'm going to, at this point, throw in the rest of our carrots and the little onion pieces that I had left. This is gonna keep the color of your carrot by adding it in last, which is why I split it into different times of putting it in. So you're just gonna barely toss that in there. I'm going to grab a good spoon. I don't think a slotted spoon is going to help much. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pour it over. Make sure I get some beef in there. And I want to get some of that good old sauce down in there. And I'm going to hit it with some sesame seeds. Trying to give that a bite with a sprinkle. And I'm going to throw in a little everything bagel seasoning. This is optional. I just like this stuff. All right. 
Now I had a couple pieces of that fresh carrot that I'm going to just put in here. Throw in some fresh scallions. And that is gonna be your Mongolian beef and veggies. Ta-da!